Okay, it is about 5.45 and it is dark and stormy. I try, oh, big lightning. I try not to drive in the dark because I just don't feel super safe. Oh, I thought I could get to the gas station from here. I cannot. But I woke up at like 4.30 and I was like, I'm not gonna sit here for two hours until the sun rises. I gave myself like half an hour, just like chill, 4.30 to five and then five to like 5.30. I got my stuff together. Can I go out this way? Yes. So yeah, I've got a long, my longest drive today. Yesterday I had my shortest drive and today I have my longest drive. I just want to get on the road before it gets super crowded and while I have energy. And look, there's nobody at the gas station. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, that's all. Looking for some hot stuff, baby, this evening. I saw a sign that said hot stuff. Also, my room had an ice maker and it made like a full bottle's worth, so store. All right, let's go get some gas. Gas up, dude. Uh, whoa, oh my God. Literally, as soon as I stop, okay. Now I'm like, I have to get one on video. I, I'm gonna try. I will try. I will try for you on my three viewers. Whoa, ah, they're all in the Whoa, that was cool. All right, come on, do one in front of me. Right in front. Right, right in front. Across. What? What? Oh my God, I hope you could see that on the video. That was so cool. Thank you, universe. Bruh, that was sick. Wow, it's light out. Look how pretty. It actually is. It's very pretty. Yesterday when I said I was driving to Bismarck, it was not. I do not know my North Dakota geography. Clearly, I don't know where I was driving through, but it was not Bismarck. Because I just saw a sign that said Bismarck like 82 miles and I was like, hmm. So I definitely wasn't there yesterday. I can 
check in. We have decided to put a breakfast place in. It's about 45 minutes away. It's like a little bit off my road. So yeah, and I will get there at seven. It's 7.45 now, but I'll get there at 7.30 that time. Like I'm going back an hour, going back in time. I can just like not have to eat a healthy salad. I'll eat that for lunch though. Like I will eat it. I don't know, it seemed like a really good idea yesterday. Anyways, going to a place called the Dakota Diner. That's all, folks. All right, so apparently, I just went back, apparently, I just went back um, in time. So I'm in the next time zone over, and apparently this is called the Enchanted Highway, and it is the world's, shut up, are those freaking buffalo? I'm apparently on something called the Enchanted Highway, which is the world's largest um, metal sculpture. So if I see some metal sculptures, I'll let you know. There's one. Okay, so I just paid like $8 for a full breakfast. I got eggs and hash browns, which I could not finish because it said two eggs, but there were definitely more than two eggs. And so I couldn't finish those, but I had a pancake and I finished her. It was good. And I was going to stop for gas now because I have like half a tank, but I just want to like get on the road. So, yeah. I was the only female in there, but the um, seats were really cool, so yeah. And the people were really nice. Uh, apparently this, apparently this is a national grassland. Little Missouri National Grassland. It's grassy. It sure is grassy. You see on that side? More grass. Hey yo, they good to, did a good job with the naming. Whoa, this is so cool. Whoa. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh. Like, what? This is so pretty. Okay, the great thing about leaving so early was that I can just like pull over whenever I want and this is so pretty out here. It reminds me a little bit of like when we went to Zion and we were driving through the canyons and everything. Um, I know it's not, it's not exactly the same, but that's like the vibe that I'm getting. So I'm just gonna meander along in the right lane because I feel like I'm gonna be stopping again to take more pics and vids and stuff. So yeah, this is just so cool. The pictures are like in the videos just don't do it justice. It is so freaking cool. Bah! I am officially in Montana. Got like five more hours. <laughs> 
speed limit here is 80. Homie. I don't know why I've been saying homie so much recently, but I have. <laughs> I like it here. I really just want to get there. You feel me? Do you? I pulled over because my eyes were getting really tired and I'm not really sleeping but I'm just kind of like resting my eyes because I've learned that I won't sleep there's too much excitement and I did have my hazards on for a while but like it's... there's a couple cars every like 10 minutes and I'm the only one that's like pulled over so like they'll see me I'm not worried about that anyways it's really like relaxing just like sitting here and like listening to the wind Looking out at the nature, I have like four and a half hours left. Four and some change. A long drive. And to think I was gonna do 14 hours. I should get back on the road. I literally just saw a bunch of tumbleweeds go across the road. I don't know why I was so entertained by that. I just stopped but I was getting sketchy vibes there was a whole bunch of stray dogs just like wandering through the street and just like I don't know I just got it I just didn't get a good vibe so I didn't pee there I just got gas got back in my car and if I have to if it gets that bad which it, I mean it will I have three and a half hours left until I get to where I'm going I will just pee on the side of the road that is why I brought toilet paper that's why I brought it Show horses. It's dinosaurs. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh, dinosaurs. Oh, and an eagle. God bless America. All right, I just got to a rest stop and I'm gonna pee and hopefully eat lunch outside because it doesn't look like it's raining at the moment, so. Okay, so it's too windy to have my salad outside. So I'm having the grapes that Steven gave me and I'm going to have my salad that I got yesterday that I don't wanna eat, but I'm going to eat because I don't wanna throw it away. <laughs> ah. So I'm just having like a little picnic in the car. I just had an epiphany. I was thinking how close the name Montana is to Montana. If the Spanish conquered Montana, I, I, that has to be why. That's why they had that's Montana, Montana. Montana. Montana is the same. Oh, this homie is going slow and there's a truck on the other side. Anyways, because there's a lot of mountains here. I was just looking at the mountains and I was like, Montana. And then I was like, Montana. You know? I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, there's nobody coming. I've been going on this one lane highway for like three to four hours now. And I passed this little creek.
creek and I kind of regret not stopping but I was going too fast and I was like there's no good place to turn around and then I just got further and farther and I was like I just want to get there but it looks really cute but now I'm like less than half an hour away so I just made it to my hotel and it's so pretty and I'm definitely gonna, gonna gonna go get in the pool because I need to move but I don't want to go walk because there's not really a good place to like walk here also the guy that was checking me out was was cute so that was why did my screen just do that my screen's doing weird stuff anyways here's the room this is the entryway got a tv a nice big bed closet nice we've got a sink here there's me and a very clean looking bathroom. And I'm really excited about the bed. And there's also microwave and little fridge. And then this is my view. Nice. Well, the front desk had fresh baked cookies and it said, help yourself. So I did. Mm. So I just took a little swim. <laughs> there was this girl in there. <laughs> talk, 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 talk. The whole time. It was really funny. I just took a shower and I'm going to watch some Gossip Girl. Need a cookie and then I'm going to edit my vlogs. going to do it.